Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to convert an integer value to a date format. Sometimes in real world, we get the date value in a whole number in an integer format. If we let that column to be in integer format, we cannot make much use of that column. In Power BI, we may have to slice and dice the values based on the dates. So, if you have a date value in an integer format or whole number format, then it is always better to convert it into a date format. So, in today's video, we'll see some challenges while converting this integer number to a date format. And we'll also try to fix that issue. So, let's get started. If you look at my screen, I created a Power BI report and I have a data set called sales. Okay. And in this sales data set, we have a column called order date key. This order date key has the date on which an order was made. So if you look at this column, this, this is of data type whole number. So this is a whole number. And we have to convert this column to a date column. Let's go to transform and convert the data type to date and let's see what happens so when i try to do that it is giving me an error how should i fix this issue let's go back to the previous step i just have to delete this step here and then we can go back to the uh, previous step so i click on this column and I say add column on the top. I'll be creating a new column here. Okay. So um, the new column. I'll be extracting. I'll be extracting month here first. Okay. Starting index. I'll say 4. And number of characters is 2. So if I say uh, a starting index 4 and number of characters 2. It gives me 0 and 7. Which is uh, the month. Okay, I'll say okay here and a new column is created. Um, I'll just rename this column as month. So I have month now. Now I want year and date, right? So I'll do, I'll repeat the same steps again and, and now I go back to uh, the order date key again and I follow the same steps again. I say add column and extract now i'll get the last characters last two characters from this order date key which gives me the date uh, count is two now i have the date column as well i'll rename this as date okay and now i have month and date now i want year so I'll go back to the order key, order date key again and I'll say add column, extract. This time I'll extract the first character. So I'll click on first characters and the count is first four characters, right? So first four, I'll give four here. Okay, now I have first characters. I have the year column now. I'm renaming this to year, okay? I'll say OK and uh, the format I want is year, month and date. So I'm going to uh, change the order here. I'm bringing in year to the front and now I click on control and I'll add month and date as well. So, so now I selected year, month and date and I'm going to merge this. I'm going to merge the columns. I say merge the columns on the top. And the separator, you can give a custom separator with the hyphen. I say OK. So, uh, so you have the merged column here. I am going to rename this again. I am going to name this as order date. I rename this. And the last step is I am going to change the data type to date. Now, if you look at this column, the data type of this column is text, right? On the top, you see it as text. So, I'm going to change this to date. 
yeah it got converted to date so, so this is how you convert an integer value to date format i hope this is clear now if you find this video helpful please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and see you in the next video thank you